Hey everybody, welcome to Average Joe Preparedness. My name's Rick, and I'm an Average Joe. Now again, the purpose of this channel is for average people to be more prepared, to be prepped, preppers, prepared. Preparedness is what the end goal is, and that has to do with the mind, because, and how you think. It doesn't matter what you have. And uh, again, it's a common theme among preppers. doesn't matter what you have, it's what you do with it. And what you do with it is based on how you think. So we're going to go over a few things and uh, I'm going to show you some stuff that I do and that you can do and that just regular old people can do. But it's not so much what we're doing, it's the thought process behind it. Please try to focus on that. Now, the first thing we're going to start off with, and I'm going to have to go off camera here, is simple. We're going to take this, which I don't know if you recognize one of these with what's been going on. You know, those little like, uh, they've got the little towels in there, disinfectant towels. They have lots of companies that make it. This one's been worn off because I've had it for so long. So that's what this is. Usually it has a lid. Mine's been broken off. Doesn't matter. And... A bag of plastic bags that you get from shopping. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you something. The mentality that you need to have, or let me rephrase, I recommend is reduce, reuse, recycle, upcycle, repurpose. It's something you need to think about all the time. And we'll get into why, and hopefully it'll make sense. All right, so what I'm going to show you today is how to dispense easily reuse these plastic bags using this container. Now I understand some of you over here might think uh, that we shouldn't use plastic bags in the first place. They're not environmentally friendly, blah, blah, blah. And maybe this container too, it's plastic. Okay, I get it. But part of the prepper mindset, part of preparedness thinking is reduce, reuse, recycle, upcycle, repurpose, whatever word you want to use is not to waste things. Think about that, not to waste things. Now, we are going to reuse these. People reuse these things. And you may say they shouldn't be used in the first place. Okay, but at least we're reusing them. So try to focus on that. At least we're gonna reuse this. Try to focus on that. Now, eventually I'll recycle this once it doesn't work for me. So try to focus on that if you would. Now there's some of you out there who don't care. Maybe you're way over here, which I disagree with because once again, reduce, reuse, recycle, upcycle. That makes you sort of a green person. And I care about doing things environmentally friendly if I can, okay? Again, it's cost benefit. Don't judge me. It's just the way people are. But let's say you're over here and you don't really care. You should a little bit because you, one way or another, you paid for these plastic bags. So you might as well get as much out of them as you can. Uh, you paid for this plastic container when you bought what was inside. This is part of the cost. So instead of just throwing it away, hopefully you'll recycle it. But maybe you could repurpose, reuse, upcycle. See, get as much as you can from this. Because remember, the money you spent was just a means of transfer of your labor. That, that's your money. You spent it. So don't throw it away. And that's the thing. Try to learn, try to always think of not throwing, not wasting. How can I reuse, reduce, re upcycle? That is a preparedness mindset. And if you get that, you will understand being a prepper. Now we've moved over here to the workbench and I'm actually gonna physically do this and I'm probably not gonna edit it down so you can see just exactly how it's done. But at the same time, we're going to talk and hopefully you can focus on two things at one time. Hopefully I can focus on two things at one time. Okay. Now I woke up this morning and I checked out the news and once again, things are going poorly. And if you think they're going to get better, uh, I would disagree. First thing I do is I take the bags and I make sure they don't have holes in them. So anyways, if you think things are gonna get better, well, you know, I'm gonna disagree with you, but, you know, to each his own. It doesn't matter, always gonna be something. 
if that makes sense. Something is always going to happen. If I'm not mistaken, I saw there was some storms that are happening, people are getting ready for tornado potential, and if I'm not mistaken, I think hurricane season has started. Besides the fact that if you live in some place where there's earthquakes, those are always going to happen, and blah, 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 blah. Please understand, the world is what it is, and it's just going to keep happening. Now for the bags. I flatten them out, I fold them over once, squeeze out the air, stack them on top of one another. I get out another bag, see how this is going to work. I pop it, I make sure there's no holes, I make sure it's right side in, I straighten it out a little bit, I flatten it out, fold it over, flatten out the air, and I stack it up again. I do this over and over again until I got a pile, say 15. Doesn't really matter, it's up to you. Now, getting back to the news. I try not to focus on it too much and, and I recommend that you don't also. Now, I, you need to pay attention. See, that one's got a hole in it, it goes over here. Now, you need to pay attention because you need to keep your finger on the pulse. That one's got a hole too. You gotta keep your finger on the pulse of what's going on. So what's going on in the news, and it's a good place to get information, i.e. if there's a storm coming and the such. But what I mean by trying not to pay too much attention is what you don't want to do is you don't want to become negative. Negative, and I'm sure we're going to do a whole video on this, negative is a bad thing. It doesn't help you. I've been in lots of situations, lots of situations. And I can tell you, being negative, it never helped nobody. Now, it can help you focus, but it's not going to help you accomplish anything. Negative emotions block higher brain function. And when you're dealing with something, when something's going on around you, you need to be focused. You need to be thinking. Now, as I said, I checked out the news and things are going poorly. And you need to be aware. Don't do the, well, I don't want to pay attention, stick my fingers in my ears, go nah, 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 I don't want to hear it. You can, don't get me wrong, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna prepare you for anything. You're, you're not a prepper. You don't have a preparedness mindset. You gotta stay focused on what's going on around you. What's the word? Situational awareness. I've seen lots of people and they just walked into things or they didn't avoid things that would have been easily avoided if they just paid attention and they didn't. They were paying attention to something else, you know, I, I don't know what it was, but they weren't paying attention to what was going on around them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's a bad idea. Now we're going to go with the opposite of that is also a bad idea. You have to take things as they come and you can't go to extremes. You can't deny what's going on, but then you can't focus too much on what's going on also. Because then you're just gonna be, what do they call it? It's a target fixation, I think is the word. But uh, yeah, you can't focus on one thing because that one thing may not come to fruition. And something else that you should have seen, you could have seen, is the thing that's going to get you. So pay attention to what's going on. Uh, so that way you can compensate or be ready for it. But also pay attention to other things. Don't focus on the one. Recognize what it is. Let's say um, a storm. Okay, there, there's a storm coming and, and you should focus on that. And you should, you should take precautions, you should be ready, but don't put blinders on to everything else that's going on around you. Now, when I talked about the news, I didn't just mean the news. We'll probably touch a little bit on that. Uh, the news is a good place to get information, but you're also getting a lot of other stuff. A lot of other stuff you don't necessarily need. A lot of other stuff other people are getting that they don't necessarily need. And it doesn't help. So 
learn learn what information you are getting what information you need and what information other people are getting and that they don't necessarily need because it's going to affect the way they think and it's going to affect the way they act and you are not alone in this world the world is filled with many 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 people and what they do is going to affect you. Now, you can't control them. You can't control people. That's silly when people try. Uh, I've never seen it work. And you can't change people. Remember, we've talked about that. Only they can change themselves. Just like only you can change yourself. But what you can do is you can recognize what they're thinking, recognize how they think, and recognize how that is going to, in turn, determine how they are going to act and or react. And make adjustments accordingly. Because once again, people are all around you. And what they do and what they don't do is gonna affect you. And what they do and what they don't do is derived by what they think. That, ladies and gentlemen, is human nature. Now, on the other hand, it really doesn't matter what's going on in life. A little bit. Because regular life, I was talking about the big things. The big things you might see on the news. Because regular life, the day-to-day -day occurrences that we have to go through, the, the cleaning the house, or going to work, and doing laundry and paying bills and all those things, that stuff's not going to stop. It's just going to keep on going. And you can't lose focus on that. Once again, I see people do that. They get, again, target fixated, if we're going to call it that. They get focused on something, and they lose focus on others. And they lose focus on their regular lives. You can't forget about your regular life. This is it. This is what you live. This is what you do. This is what you need to enjoy. Just don't lose focus on it. But then, don't lose focus on the big picture either. And to make my point, I haven't been doing these bags quick enough. So let me do them fast so I can show you how to reuse them. Or, I mean... You can do it like I had. I don't know if you saw, I had these bags inside a bag and they were stuffed in my pantry. I'm sure people, people keep them in different places, in a drawer or in a closet. If they reuse these, which I hope people do because, you know, again, reduce, reuse, recycle, upcycle, repurpose, whatever. And again, it's environmentally friendly to use something that is not environmentally friendly a few times before you just throw it away. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, you paid for these, so you might as well get as much use out of them as you can. Does that make sense? Instead of having to go and purchase something else that these can be used for. Yes? Again, and I keep saying it, if you're a prepper, if you want to be prepared, if you want that preparedness mindset, it's, uh, it's one of the tools that'll help you. Does that make sense? Okay, ready for the next step because that last bag's got a hole in it. So now, I have my bags. I've been inspecting them and folding them and flattening them and stacking them right there. This, take the first one. By the way, I don't lay claims to this. Someone else came up with this idea. I used it, so. You take the first bag, they're all the same way with the little handles up top right here. And you fold the little handle like this. You fold it up. Can you see that? I hope so. And then you just start wrapping it. When you get almost all the way done, you see that right there? You take the next one and you just put the little handles on top like that. Can you see that, guys? Just like that. And then you just keep wrapping. 
And then you take the next bag. And you lay the little handle right there. And you just keep wrapping. Now, I am not gonna torture you with watching me do this like 15 more times. How's that sound? So I'm gonna do this real quick and then we'll cut to the chase. Yes? And there we go, as promised, you didn't have to watch me, you didn't have to get tortured watching me do all those. That's the last one right there. And you usually end up with something like this. You should probably be nicer than mine or not, you know, it's up to you. You take the container, again, the lid's been broken off because I've had this thing literally for years. Years, been using the same container over and over again. Now, when you first use them, it's got that stuff in there. It's like a fragrance from the wipes. You know, make your bag smell nice. Or what you can do is you can take essential oils, like I have lemon essential oil. Don't judge me, we'll get into that later. You can drip some in here, and when you put the bags in, when you take the bags out, they'll smell like lemon. It's just an option. I'm not saying that you have to do it. So you take this, and the reason I said 13 to 15, you'll have to figure out how tight you roll it to make it fit in the container. Put it in the container, boom. Put the lid back on. Actually, before I do that, what I usually do is I will rotate this in the opposite direction than I rolled them up. So, and what it does is it looses them back up again. They, they spread out and it makes it easier for them to, to be, uh, uh, to come out of the container. So it's just something I found after doing it for a while. So you put the lid on, boom. And what do we have? Look at that, we have this. Again, it's a little tight. You grab it, you pull one. Oh, and there's the next one right there. See, that's the handles. Now, is this designed like it would on a computer and you know, manufactured by machine so it's perfect? No, I just did this in front of you guys. So, I mean, it is what it is. Yes, but let's get into the positives of what we just did. Now, I'm sure there's somebody out there going, well, Rick, this is dumb. I can just go buy me some little trash bags to put in my, I use these in like the little trash cans in the bathrooms and I have one in the laundry room and out of my shed. I actually have one of these out in my shed so I can uh, get my trash that I generate out there. And that's just fine. If you wanna go buy those, if you wanna take these non-environmentally friendly products and just throw them away, I don't know a lot of people that recycle these bags. If you don't want to reduce, reuse, recycle, upcycle, repurpose, that's your business. But you're not thinking like a prepper. You are not being prepared mentally. And that's the thing, it's the preparedness of your mind. That's what we're working on. Okay, so back up there where you normally belong. Now, uh, we just finished this project. If you were paying attention to what I'm trying to get across, the point is thinking. Once again, you can have all the tools. It's about your mind. Exercises like this, all they do is they train your mind. You need to start thinking differently, guys. That, that's the point. Now, I am going to reuse these and it's gonna make my life better. A little disposable thing, I mean, it just comes right out and. And uh, I am positive because I am reduce, reuse, recycle, repurpose, up, cycle. I am not spending money on new things and I am getting extra value on things. Now this is a, it's a simple example. And basically most of these videos, not all of them, but most of these videos are gonna be filled with just simple examples, but it's how you need to think. Again, I've been in terrible situations, terrible situations. And what I saw in people that succeeding and getting through them was how they thought. And with that, I'll give you a final thought. You may be out there going, Rick, come on now, you're not helping me, I wanna be a prepper. All right, show me some survival gear or one of those little cooking stoves that you take out in the camp in, and, and I have one, and whoop. We'll Look at it someday, sure. Give me something like that. Okay, hold on a second, please. I'm begging you pay attention. This old saying, 
uh, about uh, giving a person a fish, you feed them for a day, teaching them to fish, they can feed themselves forever. That's the point. The point is they can show you, you can go to a prepper channel and they can show you like knives and camping stuff and guns and this and that. And okay, that's great. But if you're not thinking correctly, you're not going to know how to use those things. You're not going to know when to use those things. You're not going to know how to properly use those things. You're not going to know how to properly maintain those things. And they're going to break and they're going to be worthless to you. It's your mind, ladies and gentlemen. That's the key. It's your mind. Okay, we're going to bring this video to a close. I, I hope you got something out of it. Even if, whether it's now how to make a little dispenser for your plastic bags, which by the way, I didn't coin this. I took it from someone else who said I could. So just to let you know. And uh, whether you learn that, you know, and you can make these look really pretty. Mine doesn't look pretty. Or, uh, or if you learn something a little bit more, you know, about how to think, uh, then... That would be good. Or if you were just entertained, you just come here to poke fun at me and point and laugh. That's, that's okay too. I'm hoping somewhere in your subconscious or your unconscious, things are sinking in. That, that would be good. But anyway, yeah. If you like the video, if you got something out of it, you know, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can leave a comment down below. Please keep it nice. You know, keep it, uh, keep it constructive, please. Because we're going to get into positive you need to keep things positive. Even if you hated this video, even if you didn't like it, even if this video made you mad, I don't know why, it's just little bags. But anyways, even if this video made you mad, you need to change that. Change your mindset. Change your mindset to be more positive. Trust me, in the long run, it's gonna, it's gonna benefit you. Okay, as always, my name's Rick. I'm an Average Joe. Until next time, be happy, be positive, and be prepared.